So, you know, most everyone would agree that when a restaurant becomes famous for its cooking, it's quite often the tricolor French flag hanging over the kitchen stove. Today, we'll be revealing the secrets that French chefs hold to cooking such fine and delicious cuisine. Here I am at the Madison Bistro, and I'm about to meet some master chefs. Hi, I'm Dan. Hey, I'm Jean-Louis. How are Jean-Louis, you? Jean-Louis, nice to meet you. Bonjour, Dan. Hi, bonjour. Bonjour. Nice to meet you. Jean-Louis, don't meet. So you guys are all chefs. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for you. I, I am. I'm, I'm, I'll be. I'm trying. <laughs> I'd love to try. Okay. Sure. Thank you. So uh, first off, uh, Chef Dumonet, that's quite a title, exactly. Delegate, Maître Cuisine de France. Could you please um, tell us a little bit about the association, its evolution, and your role in the delegate? Um, the objective of the association is to uh, preserve, spread the French culinary art, encourage training cuisine, and assist professional development. And um, let's say I'm looking for a French restaurant uh, run by a chef in your association, run by Maître Cuisinier. Where would I look? What's your website? It's uh, www.mcf-usa.com. Mm -hmm. So it's also my understanding that this summer you'll be launching a campaign to publicize the association. And uh, what is, is exactly the message you're looking to convey to French food lovers uh, in the summer? In the summer? Uh, Dan, we would like to um, celebrate the, so the summer the French way. Uh, the French, uh, the Maître Cuisine de France uh, partner with the uh, French Ministry of Agriculture, the French Tourist uh, Bureau, Bureau or Office, uh, the Côte du Rhône Wine Council will put together uh, a promotion starting on the Independence Day, the American Independence Day, uh, July 4th, to, uh, and finishing on the Bastille Day, after the Bastille Day actually, on uh, July 18th. Uh, we, each restaurant uh, will feature a special $30 Maître Cuisinier de France uh, speci special. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, we will offer to each of our customer a recipe booklet about easy recipes. And I think we'd all agree, obviously, that French cuisine, French food is very special. It's very highly regarded amongst uh, gourmands and mm -hmm. food lovers everywhere. But why is that? And maybe why uh, is it better to experience this type of food in France itself? It's, you know, the ambiance. I mean, you can. I speak to my customers when I send them to France, and usually I try to send them to other French maître cuisinier in France. Okay. They always have a good um, welcoming. The ambiance of the restaurant is such that uh, you're in France, so you, you, the smell is different, the, the, uh, everything is different. You go to a market, you know, you see all, all this good food after you go, uh, uh, like we were talking before, we, we go to the bar, we're going to have something to eat at the bar, a nice glass of Côte du Rhône, and, uh, Maybe a sardine or something. I mean, it's uh, it's really the, the produce you cannot find to like um, I don't know, say andouillette and some stuff, but uh, really French. It's, uh, it's all direct from the source. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, maybe we could uh, go to the kitchen and whip something up because you know all this talk of food is making me quite hungry. Maybe. <laughs> What exactly am I making? Fricassé de poulet. Fricassé de poulet. Chicken de fricassé. Vermouth. And what, uh, is there a specific part of France? So, uh, if you could just let, let me know exactly how we make this delicious fr chicken fricassé. So, in uh, four words, you take the chicken, pieces, so buy, buy the pieces, don't uh, worry with the knife. Salt even, salt and pepper, always salt and pepper. Salt even in uh, dry fried butter or oil and butter. Uh, after add the shallots, uh, cook it a little bit, don't brown the shallots, keep them white. Uh, add the vermouth, mm. reduce it, add the cream, the tomato and the tarragon. Again, reduce it and cook it for 10-15 minutes. Put it in a pot and add a little bit of vermouth at the end. For that extra little Bash of, yes, it's delicious. Right. Well, thank you. Bon appétit. <laughs> thank you so much.
Now I too can become a maître cuisinier de France. <laughs>